Hey there, thanks for stopping by for today's video covering the new perk called Adrenaline Junkie from Seasonal to Splicer. The perk can blow on the new seasonal weapons and I have found it to be quite fun and very interesting perk to use when combined with a certain seasonal mod. The perk states that grenade final blows grant bonus damage and handling for a moderate duration. This duration stacks up to times 3 and offers 10% on 1 kill, 20% on 2 kills and 35% on 3 kills. From here, the perk will then last for a duration of 10 seconds and can be refreshed for each kill made. Playing around with the perk, this perk acts just like any other damaging perk available in game from Kill Clip, Multi Kill Clip, Rampage, Swashbuckler, Club, etc. But requires the user to actively get kills from grenades only, while other perks like Rampage will be actively working the moment you get a weapon kill. This can vary from time to time for how much you can activate the perk as you'll need to build or load out in mind that can allow you to gain grenade energy back easily to thus use your grenades and reap the benefits. For something like PvE where mods and builds play a big part in how you do things, this can be easily achieved and allow the user to gain a times 1 to 3 buff on a constant basis. In PvP however, this can be slightly harder to achieve if you're not using an exotic or grenade in mind that amplifies your damage. If we have to be honest for PvP side of things, you are best activate the mod to reach at least a times 10 for most matches, with times 1 being the most commonest achievement to reach. What makes the perk more favourable compared to the other damaging perks is its duration of 10 seconds, which is longer than what Vampage or Kill Clip can offer. This alone gives you more time to quickly use the perk before deactivation compared to others. You can also at the same time refresh the duration by getting another kill with grenades, which is something worth investing in if you have a weapon combo in mind that can make full use of it. At first you may think this perk isn't something you'll be able to make full use of since rank 3 is what you want the most out of, but is a chore for most players to achieve in game modes like PvP. However, this perk is exclusively the best perk to run if you have a heavy grenade build that focuses on you spam grenades 24-7, and there are a few easy ways to do this. So firstly when it comes down to builds, you want a setup that allows you to easily regain grenade energy in an instant, while not needing to rely on other weapon perks to achieve it, such as demolitionists. This can be done through two ways, exotics or mods. How we go about this is all down to the user's preference as simply having a high cooldown rate will allow you to reach a great enough level to instantly regen grenades within 30 seconds or less. Mods such as Firepower are great to have in hand as it will net the users a 20% grenade energy per stack of the mod they have, max of 5. Added on 1 or 2 the mods will net you 20-40% to grenade energy for each stack of charge with light you have, and can be easily achieved by mass working said weapon with the perk for a quick and easy all in one setup. But we can go bigger and better with this setup by adding in the exotics such as Variety's Brow, Snowboo's Vow, and Ash and Wake to enhance the damage of our grenades while refunding the amount of energy we get back. If we take Shinobu's Vow as an example, this exotic trait states that improves skip grenades and you gain an additional skip grenade charge. Skip grenades return energy when it damages enemies. Now a few things to note, firstly you get two charges of the grenades to use which allows you to spam them a lot more easier with little to no downsides. Secondly, they are very aggressive compared to the single use one this means you have a higher chance of netting kills with them if the enemy is already weakened. Thirdly, and probably the most important part, you get grenade energy back upon damaging an enemy. This here means I can easily fully restore or get at least another energy back to then easily build up my grenade bar back within a few seconds. In PvE or PvP, this exotic is amazing to use as simply weakening or just throwing a grenade means I can net an easy kill with it and then get grenade energy back from damaging said enemy in the field. So we are getting the best of both worlds here. Now combining the use of firepower mod as well, we can easily receive a full bar of grenade energy back if we have the device set up in mind. This method can be implemented the same way from using Ash and Wake to Rarity's Brow, so customization for all classes are accessible. There is one other thing that can be added to the mini setup to allow you to 100% get your grenades back for all classes in mind, and that is through the mod called Impulse Recycler. This mod grants grenade energy back from grenade kills and from testing it can yield you a large amount of grenade energy back to the point of fully being able to use your grenade straight away, like within a second of cooldown, it's that fast. Now let's break down what's going to happen with everything in mind. With Shinobu's, Ashen or Variety's Brown, we will throw a grenade, get a kill with said grenade that will give us one stack. 
we will then have the firepower mod, impulse recycler and any other mods kick in. This will then fully refund our grenades within a second, to which we can then repeat to get stack 2. Repeat as many times as we like until we hit stack 3, and then carry on repeating it from there on out. With this little setup, you can have infinite grenade energy at your helm that will feed back into your puck and provide you with a near infinite buff for 10 seconds flat. PvE or PvP, this can be used for whatever content you have in mind and can make you the very best damage dealer around. Can this be improved on further? Of course. Any exotic that allows you to gain grenade energy back will be the top most used item that fits the perk. How you build and design around it is all up to you, but at the end of the day, don't sleep on the perk. It's better than you think. So if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny and Titanfall 2 lore content if you did that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, I'll see you on the next one.